many years ago, in my sleep, I've seen an uh, old man with a lot of white hair, and he was telling me, Wally, help those goofy people who play vinyl. Saint <laughs> 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 <Same> German. <laughs> Vater sagte ihm, Wally, hilf diesen durchgeknallten Leuten mit dem Menü. Goofy, did you use Goofy Translation? I said, yes, God. I will develop Wally tools and I'll be providing seminars all over the world. Also, er wird das übernehmen und er wird Seminare überall auf der ganzen Welt abhalten. So, that man said, I'll keep you healthy and long live. Ich werde Gott sprach, ich werde dich gesund halten und ein langes Leben. Three months ago I turned 70. So I don't look like 70, but I enjoy life. And I enjoy traveling all over the world and talking to those people who still play by. Okay, I'll show you something right away. As an introduction. <laughs> okay. The title is Where is the Style? <laughs> this is a doctor, medical doctor, played three years records. This is Ben Surubi two or three. He didn't know that he's supposed to clean. <laughs> so I took the picture and what we found Inside was Geiger Files. It's a message. Because it's a mechanical reproduction, you have to keep it clean. That's the first message. But I'd like to have more technical introduction. Because you can buy. DVD by Michael Fremer. Michael Fremer is in stereophile analog corner and he, with my help, he issued like 21st century. It's, you can go on Amazon or I don't know who is distributing in Germany. 21st century guide for turntable setup, something like that. And so I will not be touching whatever he is showing on DVD because it's a practical issue how to use. Of course, you know, uh, the one advice is that first you take off jacket or sweater. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> then you take off your tie. I had experience once, I was scared. In the winter, Minnesota winter it's cold. I had wool sweater and I was doing something and then I got frozen because the cantilever, $4,000 cartridge, was caught by sweat. <laughs> so I got frozen and I said to the owner, hey, release that cantilever for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you remove tie because, and then think about what happened in last 24 hours, if you had strong discussion with your female partner, <laughs> don't go to your analog, <laughs> roll up sleeves, and especially in Germany, during Oktoberfest, <laughs> do the test for yourself. Okay? Now I'm ready for analog. <laughs> if you <laughs> don't touch your four thousand five or six thousand dollars cartridge, you never know what happened. When you have turntable, turn up, turn up name, right? Turn up cartridge. It's you can put together different way, but in order to understand what's going on. This is the basic explanation. It's in English. Feel free to take picture now or later. You have platter spindle. You have pivot on the toner. You have effective length. An effective length is nominal. Like Rega, I'm using Rega 239 millimeters. 
when you install the cartridge, the distance from stylus to the pivot is effective length. <coughs> but it's nominal. We have slots in the head shell, slots, so you can slide cartridge, plus minus five millimeters. But you have to decide, the manufacturer says 239. Based on that nominal effective length, they, they are programs, <coughs> developed formulas by professors of mathematics, Berwald and Lovren. If you install the cartridge properly or manufacture for yourself, there is a required overhang. It means theoretically, if you move arm over the platter spindle, the stylus is overhanging platter spindle, then you have pivot to spindle distance, overhang, and that's what is here. Beside that, okay, we have the pivoted arm has offset angle in order to keep tangentially to the groove. This one and that one create offset angle. There is also linear offset angle, forget it, it's not important. And we have radius, distance from platter spindle to the groove, and radius, its recorded area is one starts 146 down to 60 millimeters. That's what is recorded area. But most modern records, they don't go down to 60. They go to 70, 75, depends on how long is recorded. So what do we have here? Pivot to spindle, groove, the basic stuff is explained. So now you have to, if you install, okay, your tonum yourself, like in Brinkman or other turntables, the, the arm board is movable, sliding, rotatable, that pivot to spindle, plus minus 0.5 millimeter is fine because you have slats in the head shell. If you are a little longer than theoretically or shorter, you can still compensate. This one parameter is most critical. Okay? But how to measure if you put your expensive cartridge over a spindle to measure overhang like for 239 millimeters, overhang is 17.3 millimeters, plus minus best would be 0 0.1 millimeter. So I developed, I got to, I developed polytractor. We'll talk later about this. You take the ruler, plastic ruler, I have it, I'll show it tomorrow. I forgot it's in the, in the room. But I'm using the book, I asked for CD boxes, you know, CD jewel boxes here, but they told me it's not allowed on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we don't have it. What you do, you put CD boxes, I'm using demonstration, you put the ruler, you look at the from the top, zero, and then you go to the pivot. If your arm does not show, you know, it's difficult. Take a masking tape, paper masking tape, and make to your best justification cross or dot. And you can measure. Now, if you use CD boxes, <laughs> then you support it parallel, and you can make <coughs> you can make measurement and then adjust by rotating arm boards or sliding. So when when we have it, then you align cartridge. And cartridge has cartridge looks like that, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> the vertical geometry is based on the like vertical tracking angle, and this is between the record and the green line, which is between stylus tip and pivot of the cantilever. So, we have vertical geometry, 
but VTA for some by some people is understood that it's a angle between cantilever and record. No, it is between that point because if stylus is taller, then cantilever has different length angle, and VTA is very is changing <coughs> from in the cartridges and recording device. Neumann is using 30, 30 degrees. Other manufacturers of the cutter, they could use 20 because that was most popular, but lately Neumann increased to 30. So in cartridges, that angle could be from 15 degrees up to 35. Grado or Grado <coughs> is using very high. But now we are going to most critical, stylus rate angle. When a farmer goes on the field and he cut the grass, it dried, so they said, hey, it's dry grass, it's hay. What is the word in German? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And then he is using device, rake, and rake it. So, the same, it's stylus rake angle, which is always higher, it's optimum, 92 degrees optimum. We have the vertical geometry, stylus rake angle. When they use a cutter during cutting lacquer, 80% of record is cut at 92 degrees. It was done research, investigation. Then, if you want to read that groove, you're supposed to follow whatever was cut, because cutter has very sharp edges. And we'll go to that. Beside that, another geometry is azimuth. When you look from the front of the cartridge, by rotating, you are changing not stylus engagement, but the coils or magnets engagement in reference to the recorded group. And there is also zenith. When you look from the top, you can slide it in the slots, and you can rotate to make tangentially to the groove, but you cannot see groove, so I developed Wally Tractor showing tangency. Any questions to that? What about the other 20%? What, with what angle do they cut? Some of them, they go slightly below 92, and more than 20 percent, they go maybe to 93, but not more. Why do they have that 92? Because when you grab the hay, the hay is building up. The same is in lacquer, the chips, what is the, the chip, you know, that's what you yeah. cut it from the lacquer? What you understand? <coughs> uh, so it has to go up and picked up by vacuum without building on the cutter. So that's that's pure mechanics. 